Hi guys, welcome to Stuff and Nonsense, and this is the tape ball that we'll be making today. Um, it's just a mega awesome kids party game. Um, it's like the step up from past the parcel for kids that are just a little bit older, like this is for my boy's 10th birthday party. Um, but young and old, I mean, it just suits all age ranges. I tend to do it for five plus. Um, because it can be like a little bit overwhelming for those under five. I still do pass the parcel for them. Um, and yeah, um, it's like layers and layers um, of paper and tape. Sometimes it's called saran wrap ball game or the cling film or glad wrap ball game. But I use paper. So we call it a tape ball because this I've just found. It's like a deviation from all the ones that you see on Pinterest and YouTube. Um, because it's very, very user friendly for kids and each kid that gets the ball gets a prize each kid and every kid gets to go on it um and so that's why i love it and it works on many levels because they're not just hunting for prizes and having heaps of fun and it's lasting quite a while this can go up to half an hour even though they're doing it really quickly it's massive it's the pluto i mean <laughs> We're talking at least half an hour, 35 minutes. Um, and they're, as they're doing that, once they get their stash, that works as their loot bag. So they take that loot home with them. So brilliant, brilliant. So what you do is you give um, the birthday boy or girl, they start off and they start ripping all the goodies off, trying to get as many as they can. Whilst the person to their left is throwing, trying to throw a double. And when they throw a double, then, oh, and there I did. Um, then the ball gets passed to them and then they open it while the person next to them starts throwing the dice and it goes like that around the whole circle and they just you should see them it's just it's hilarious i probably won't be able to film them because you know i don't really like oh there's another one see it doesn't take long to get a double um and the kids just love it it's just oh so cool um so yeah in the next clip um i'll show you what you need how to make it all the stuff blah blah and have fun making it so this is what you'll need to make your tape ball. Um, a decent present to go in the middle. I've chosen a boomerang, pretty nifty. And a bunch of toys, depending on how big the um, party is, how many kids you've got. I've got, I'm actually making two and each ball is for 20 kids. So I've got about, I know, about maybe 80, 90, like ranging from um, matchbox cards to little Lego sets to you know little toys and water pistols and um, little fun sized treats, Mara, crunchy um, bubbles, little things of bubbles. Um, just anything you can get your hands on really, because this party it's all different age ranges and girls and boys so <laughs> it's tricky to be gender neutral but i think girls like cars and girls can like planes and spider-man i don't think it needs to be terribly gendered i think girls and boys like you know the same things um so yeah you need a bunch of toys um some tape packing tape it's better than duct tape because it's not as sticky and a lid or a this is like a baking tray with a couple of dice so there we go so that's what you'll need oh and some paper um old wrapping paper christmas paper yeah and let's begin by first wrapping the main present and then adding the rest now with the main present i'll try and wrap that up in gold and then like nice wrapping paper and then I'll just wrap that one up so that it won't get it doesn't have to be fancy it's just going to get ripped apart <laughs> by a very excited kid so then just wrap that up and now you get that is the middle so what I tend to do and you don't have to do this I wrap all the prizes individually so that it makes it even more exciting to get the prize you don't have to be fancy it's what have we got scooby-doo 
van. I just wrap that up. And as I say, it's not fancy. Makes it more appealing to the kids because they can't see it yet. And then I'll put that on there. And then I will stay, start the tape. Now to try the end. <laughs> to try and find the end of the tape. Oh. And then I'll stick it onto the prize and then on to the paper. Now, I try, I'm going to try and make this into a, a ball at some point and keep taping. Then what I do is, to make it a little bit easier, I actually get that and flick it back on itself. So when they come to do that, it's easy for them to take off because if you just roll it round and round and round, um, they could find it tricky to actually undo and then it becomes like a, a mess of trying to pull the tape but that's what I do to make it easier so they know they're gonna get that toy so that's the first one and then I'll wrap and I just found this the easiest way to do it with the chocolate I just leave that because that's already wrapped stick it to the chocolate and then to the tape and then just wrap it the scissors and then just fold it over like that yeah and then I will so they've got different places to unwrap and then I get um the tape again oh I've lost it you see this is going to be this is going to be a running theme isn't it <laughs> how to find the tape. Oh my gosh, it could actually be a mode of torture trying to find the end of the tape. Okay, I'll get that, stick it to the morrow, put that in the middle, let that go round. Oh, and try not to let the sticky side come up, keep it all on one side. Again, flick it over, stick it like that, and then so we've got like one, two, three, and then we'll have another toy. Let's go with a lizard. I've done it again. I've done it again. Let's go around. And then again, fold over. So I make sure there's about one, two, three, four. And then I do a layer of paper. And the layers will get bigger and bigger. I mean, sometimes it's actually a good idea to actually make squares of paper. As long as it's um, partially covering. So I'm going to try and screw it because, again, as I say, I'm trying to make a circle, trying to make a ball. So they have to actually get into this area. They want to get this open. And then we'll start again. I will get. Crunchy. All the way and then twist that over and stick so that they can they can lift that up and then get the other side a <laughs> one. Oh, I should actually wrap that up. Oh, I keep forgetting to wrap things up. <coughs> My bad. In fact, what I normally do is wrap all the presents first and then do this.
And when there's 20 kids, you know, you, you really try and want to let, get them all to get something, you know, to make it fair. But, and it's surprising how, with because we did this last year, you know, there was like 40 kids there last year too, and they're each of them, and we had two tape balls, and each of them did manage to get um, prizes. So that's awesome. individually wrap the presents but you can stick the chocolate on there because they're already wrapped but I individually wrap the presents and keep going round and round and as I say I do try like I'll put a present like this and then I'll bump it up so that I, I am eventually making um, a circle I mean it doesn't matter what shape it ends up as it's called a tape ball but it ends up some of the shapes can just be so amazing um, they don't necessarily have to turn out to be, you know, balls, and kind of. they could be any kind of shape. But they, it, oh, it just looks super impressive because obviously to wrap all these presents, it's quite a few here. So it just keeps adding and getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's just the kids just love it. You should see. See now, I'm going to put that there, and it's really going to make my circle. It's really going to kind of circle it out now because it's funny you want it sifted you don't want them to win too many at once but you want them to win some <laughs> and you want it kind of staggered so they all win some so I've kind of <laughs> I've been quite scientific in my approach <laughs> and um, tried to make it as, as fair as possible and 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 that and it actually did work it was all the kids ended up with something which was my main aim. They all, no one, there was no tears before bedtime because no one got a prize. And then, as I say, remember you've got to keep doing this bit, like like taping it, oh, like folding it over on itself so that there's an opening. So on each one, they get kind of used to the fact that they can look for an opening. They can look for the, because there'll be five on each side and then another wrap. So yeah, I'll keep going. I'll put you in fast forward and I'll keep going and you can watch the madness as it happens.
will be the last layer and I'm just putting kind of quite nice wrapping paper on this one because this is the last layer. I'll try and do gold or a, you know, something gold and sparkly or because my little boy loves a bit of gold. <laughs> Normally just do plain gold. I don't have any plain gold, but this is gold with blue and purple on it. So looks a bit fancy because all the rest is just old wrapping paper from last year. Was like a dollar and what we do is we use the rest of it take all the tape off and put it in the fire because it can actually get quite cold here it's um new zealand's first day of summer today december the first yay it's been so cold. And um, I, for one, am very excited. So, this is going to be what it looks like. You still put presents on the top. Um, still keep on doing how massive it is. And I keep saying circle, I mean I'm trying to create a sphere. <laughs> I think I've said circle about a hundred times, but obviously I mean sphere. That was um, my main aim. And I think we've kind of done that. Kind of. <laughs> oh, it's so heavy. It's so cool. Works. You just gotta see the kids is massive and you gotta see the kids' faces. The kids' faces when I bring these out and this like big massive <laughs> you know planet <laughs> comes out at them. Oh, like, oh. oh it's just oh it's just brilliant. And then we'll keep going. We just got a few left. And I'll keep. I kind of make the top ones a little bit easier to access so that they get the the hang of it. my kind of the need of invention where you do not lose the end of your sellotape invention like a fork I think and we'll do three more to go I mean this does take a while <laughs> I mean, it's worth it um, for their reactions. Totally worth it. But it does take a while to make. I mean, this has pretty much taken me a few hours, really. I mean, I've kind of been in and out. It's now dark. <laughs> I'm filming this in the dark. It's like 10.30 at night. My little one's in bed. Well, little one. I shouldn't say little. Almost as tall as me. Oh, he's almost in double digits. I can't believe it. Um, and this is a big one. How am I going to put this? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> this is random. Random. And um. He's just going to love this. Now, this is 
the last one. Now I don't wrap the very last one. When I say last one, this will be the first one that they open. I take that there, open, yeah? I give this birthday boy himself and he gets to open this first and I do this um, so that he can show everyone how to do it and that he's you know birthday boy it's fun to give them a little bit of so he'll start with that and he'll rip that off and then whatever he gets while they're um, throwing, well the person next to him will be throwing the dice. So he'll rip that off, rip that off and then carry on trying to find all the nooks and crannies to look at that random, um, trying to um, get the tape off whilst the other one is trying to throw a double. So he has it. We say go, the one on the left has to throw a double. It doesn't actually take that long to throw a double. You're talking within um, 50, see I've just thrown a double then as we were talking, Party. and it's just fun. Everyone has a laugh and and then, um, then it goes on to the next person. So when he throws a double, it gets passed over. He stops opening it, stops carrying it, all the tape off. He has his little stash and then the next person um, um, has it and the person next to them on the left has the dice and they try and throw a six, uh, a double and as they're trying to throw a double that person is opening. So there's a double. You see it doesn't take long and sometimes you get double straight away so sometimes the kids only have it for a second and they have to give it. But because it, it happens quite fast even though there's, there's going to be like, like last year we had two tape balls with two sets of 20 kids and it actually went by quite quickly, like the kids don't get bored, that's why I love it, if you've got a party with a lot of kids there, this is a game where they are not going to get bored, we tend to do um, the pass the parcel at the beginning um, because for the younger ones so that they each you know with the music and make sure that everyone ties to get a, a little treat and then we do this one um, we don't usually let toddlers in on this one it's like five plus because it can get a little bit gnarly uh not not gnarly gnarly but you know it, it it can be a little bit stressful for the toddlers because everyone's you know hurry up come on come on and you know that kind of doesn't bode well for you know under fives i mean some can cope some can cope brilliantly um and if they can go for it um but when you've got kind of 40 kids screaming it's probably not appropriate but you know obviously make your own mind up because every kid is different some are just completely fearless i know my boy was from a very young age um so yeah and then we do this we play this and then we have some food and then we chill and eat the food and then we play musical statues because again it's a team game and then pretty much you cut in the cake and then they're all kind of going home because this takes quite a while this can take up to like half an hour 40 minutes i mean you know it takes quite a while and it's awesome it's just like mega epic party game and you've got to see i will try and put a bit of footage in from the party but i don't really want to be filming other people's kids if i do i'll blur their faces just so you can see the excitement but you can look on other channels look for tape balls look for new year ball um and you'll see a lot of people use cling wrap or plastic wrap and they call it the uh saran um party game or the saran wrap party game um and if i can't um show any footage of of our of the kids doing it um you must check out um sparkly polywog um and i think they've called it um new year's eve ball game or christmas saran wrap game by mark treadway or the golson family christmas 2015 saran wrapped game I think it's called um, by Heather Broad and they're so funny because whole families do it and it's just hilarious um, because um, you just check them out it's so funny so anyway I hope you enjoyed this giving you some ideas um, this really is an epic party game for kids 
but you can do different prizes and make it for adults like you could just do like little sachets of moisturizer or fake tan or lipsticks um aftershaves um like add more adulty type things if you want to do it for adults um and it's just so much fun even put money in there it's just an amazing game it's just the best game i've just i'm so glad i came across it on pinterest one day as i was searching through um but they just did it completely differently to this i just did this because this works for kids and um it's not as mad as the saran wrap game and it's not as hard it's just a bit easier and a lot of kids get a lot of great toys and it's it's just probably a bit user friendly for kids so i've just kind of um twiddled with the idea and came up with this one because as i said it the kids it's just really kiddie friendly um but yeah, hopefully um, give you an idea and hopefully you play it. You must play it. Save it. A lot of people save up all their old Christmas wrapping paper and then they do it for the new year. It's such a great idea. So anyway, hope you've had fun and we'll see you next time on Stuff and Nonsense for more Stuff and Nonsense. See you later.